fallen women and their good woman counterpart. Because the dehumanization wouldn't be complete without it. For reference, the musical I'm working on, which is what this page is dedicated to, examines the fallen woman trope. And as I've been deciding which women's stories to include, I think about, do they have a good woman counterpart? And if they do, they most likely fit into the fallen woman trope. Let's get started. Kicking off our list, we have the OG fallen woman, good woman pairing, Eve and the Virgin Mary. One of them obeyed God and one of them didn't. You could also pair the Virgin Mary with Mary Magdalene, who for most of history was thought to be a prostitute, even though we know that's not really true anymore, but you can see from this painting how one was depicted over the other. Anne Boleyn versus Catherine of Aragon, classic. A woman accused of witchcraft versus a good Puritan woman. You can really see the difference in how they're depicted here. Women who made moonshine versus women in the temperance movement. The Moonshiner song is posting this Friday, by the way. Name a more iconic duo, I'll wait. So this one's really interesting. If you don't know, that's Claudette Colvin. She was the one to refuse to give up her seat on the bus nine months before Rosa Parks did. However, she was not considered to be a good spokesperson for the movement because she was an unwed teenage mother. Now the next couple are a little too recent to include in my show and they're too alive to sue me. So they won't be in the show, but Monica Lewinsky and Hillary Clinton. And finally, Angelina Jolie, Jennifer Aniston, Femme Fatale, America's Sweetheart. So if you can think of any more, let me know in the comments. And if I get enough, I'll make a part two.